is happening y'all welcome jumping in to check out something new this is atomic heart so this thing's getting some mixed reviews uh, i've seen some people really like it i've seen other people uh say that it is a buggy mess so uh yeah we're we're gonna find out um either way we are oh where my th phone thing go hang on one second so there's a new windows app that came out called phone link and it uh it lets me just have like a little message tab open so now if the wife messages me it'll just be like boop and i'll see it um, we're gonna give it a second while these shaders install pc is trash ps for the win huh okay uh, da, da, da. did you get it a day early uh i think today's early I don't know, I did get it from the devs. They, well, they gave me a review copy, but they gave it to me like three days before launch, and I was like, I ain't getting through this game in three days, so. We're just waiting to to start it today. And uh, yeah, we'll check it out. So, um, before we even start, though, I do want to... There's There's been like some weird talks that like this game is, uh, you know, it's, it's pro-Russian propaganda and... If you're if you're playing Atomic Heart, it means you're you're against the uh, you know Ukraine and the the Russia Ukraine war effort. Um, honestly, that's that's all dumb. That's that's dumb bullshit. Uh, at the end of the day, this this is funded by like a bunch of different groups, and like a, a portion of its funding came from like basically the comcast of russia and people are like well the comcast of russia helps putin like no it's not it's it's not you you playing atomic heart is not you know pe people act like people are like sir sir vladimir the cowboy man playing atomic heart excellent fire another missile he just paid for it like it doesn't work like that uh so yeah anybody who's who's doing that you're dumb you're just you're dumb and I'm gonna laugh at you because you're dumb. Uh so anyway, yeah, Tomic Heart. We got a uh, 15% to go. So we're gonna start it. Let's start it. No, it really wants those it wants those shaders installed. Uh do -do, let's jump in. Shader installation. Okay, alright. I guess we're I guess we are gonna wait for that five percent. Oh man. People in government are two different things. That's the thing I think a lot of people don't get. Like, for for the most part, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into politics, but for the most part, like the people in Russia, they they don't want the war either, you know. And uh, the government over there is like, like that. That's why when people are like, well, Munfish wouldn't they they wouldn't decry the war. Like, well, they're they're Russian expats. Meaning they left Russia. They're no longer based in there. But like they're there throughout history. We've seen people that have left Russia and then been like, yeah, Russia sucks. And then the next day they have like accidents. So, uh, yeah, can't really say I'm surprised that the devs weren't like, yeah, screw Russia. <laughs> Big surprise. The devs don't want to end up dead. Anyway, uh, oh, that's that's some. That's like chat's cake. He's like being spanked with Lego blocks. Uh, wrestling, or in this one, you the robot is your your simp. All right, we're gonna just we're just gonna go for regular. I mean, regular is fine. Thoughts on the Garden of Eyes mod? I don't touch anything that dude does because he stole uh, credit back back in the day. He stole stuff from other content creators and tried to pass it off as his own. And there's like a whole string of evidence. You can literally look up his name and plagiarism and you'll find a bunch of it. So I ain't touching his shit. I really love this place. 
good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. The Glove talks? Will we make it for the speech? <laughs> We've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, very, very, uh, Bioshock, Prey, Fallout. They had Jensen in an ad. In Looks pretty. Can I, let me, uh, let me hit up my options real fast here. Let's see, windowed full screen. Let's lock that down to 60. Let's go quality. Atomic! I hope so, it should be. English controls are right, everything else should be good. Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? No, get off of me, man. Let me let me do my sensitivity. My mouse sensitivity is super high. Uh, controls mouse. Yeah, we're dropping that bad boy down to like point two. One more sure, thanks. Even lower, even lower. Let's go down to point one. Point one. What do you want, Bowie? What's up? I know you ain't coming here to smell the trash can after the nice jet made. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> Seems good. That always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. What's wrong, baby? Why are you in here? You yeah, high? What's up with your Vovas bots, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Yeah, this is a really slow open for sure. thanks, Mom. The code zero four five one. Okay then, get to work, you bums. Move it, move it. Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Yeah, man, just got done chest day. Doing a little benching. Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. Uh, no 315 I've got a full yet. schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. So the, we're, we're going in... Um, Basically three week cycles. Week one, we go for like a top, uh, my top five. Then we go up to whatever my top two is, and then we do the a overload week. Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. You dickhead. Yeah, a lot of Bioshock inspiration. No, last last cycle. I mean, we we went past 300 with the uh, with the uh, on the overload week, but that was like assisted. It was using a, uh, a slingshot. I am weight training. I'm not really interested in just fitness. I'm big boy, strength build IRL.
I do drink whiskey, but I'm not picky about my whiskey. I usually just drink Crown Black. You're creepy. Where's where, where's the, the everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, comrade major? I've been everywhere. I mean everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Where is uh where are my robot wife who's at? Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the day. Let me see if I can make the subtitles bigger. Because those are small for me. I feel like y'all probably can't even read that. Streamer mode. Yep, definitely put that on. I ain't getting flagged. Um, art subtitles. Subtitles on. That sucks. Can y'all can y'all read those? I feel like they're super tiny. Like I can see them because I'm like, you know, a foot from my screen. Uh, but I feel like that would be impossible to see on a phone. Days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Vacuum it up, yeah. Or whatever just happened. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Hold left alt. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. 
Sorry, I'm Dimitri Sectionov, and this is Facility 38. A lot of bots. Today we stand on the grid, the greatest event in the history of man. We find ourselves just one small step away from an important to the lobby of that high rise, Catherine Major. Then we can finally change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look. And how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed so in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of Euro polymers and the process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, so glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access card. I didn't even get a chance to play it sweet. Yeah, naturally. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. The neural connector. They're Roombas. It will allow human beings we all see the elevator they said that your elevator has arrived but that's like the only door I'm seeing Let's try to scan her. We'll replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Uh. Thing with the uh, screen and rotating things is the elevator. I mean, it's the only door here, so I assume it is, but. That screen's been. Oh, there we go. It started moving. At a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device. In five minutes, in just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0, our marvelous network, will be on the 13th day of the month of June, 1955. Only two days away. Get your thought device today and become Homo Futurum among the first. The future is already yours. Talk about style. Science hey, power. Hey, the waifus. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. I'm about to get that robussy. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Damn, they are, they are tall. We are, are we, are we, are either that or we're, either we're super short or these robots are like, mommy status, look how big they are. Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. 
The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. I'm streaming pants while we're talking. Our were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. My streamer pants, they're, uh, these are like cotton polyester blends, so they have a little bit of stretch, they don't get too sweaty. This is a lot of dialogue for the start, though. I feel like we've just been, like, walking. And walking. And walking. And then elevatoring. No, I have not watched any reviews of this. I saw uh, Carrick and Maddie had incredibly different opinions. Carrick liked it. I, Maddie was like, it's terrible. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. What? Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from one. Of them. I get it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics, workers screw from that. the We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. Like how instead of a flying car, they just slap some cables on this thing. Verdict on Ishin. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, the thing is, it, at the end of the day, it's a Yakuza game. If you like Yakuza games, you'll like it. If you don't, I see you've well. finally begun your assignment, and it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... Flying pigs. Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? 
How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Uh, when do we start, like, shooting stuff? <laughs> Just... This is, this is more movie night than, than, uh, like a dragon was. Forming robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plan such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. I mean, it's a pretty game so far, but like that's all we, we have to go on is it's pretty. Ooh. I'm gonna need some caffeine. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in oh, World War II. Oh, man! Is now there... Can I, can I skip? Can I skip? Entering no? The grounds of the Babylon complex. The site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network, with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. I mean, I get that it's world building, but if the whole world's gonna go dystopian, I don't need to get all this background. We could have done a, a, a quick tour, seen everything, been like, wow, this is crazy society, and then have everything immediately go to crap. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Yeah, there's, there's a limit on exposition. The trophy's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? What the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle is There we go. Shit's going down. Finally. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate. Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade Major. I will escort you to the Babylon complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell 
are you doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Decided I'd use this time to clean my monitor. Damn busy. Are we are we playing yet? My screen looks nice and clean now. Uh, oh shit, my head's killing me. Uh. Ooh, what happened there? Someone got hit by by the bot. Oh yeah, too many ta too many too many caps. The bot smacked you. I have an axe. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you alright, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. Our target is Victor Petrov. Your mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session off out. on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Shut the... Shit! Uh, get away from me! Try to put me in the pooper. Uh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! What are you 
gawking at. Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, No sweat, Sonny. <sighs> what are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? You already have an axe, bro. She has a pitchfork. Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Oh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Yeah, now the camera, the camera shake is shit. excessive. Shit. It's a chill Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold them off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat what shit is, and die. What is happening with this game? Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way! Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! So far, this game does just feel like a fever dream. <laughs> just randomly? Oh, man, I think I need a... What even is that? A, ci is that a, a cigarette? What a goddamn cluster he just, fuck. He just pulled out a cigarette, burning through like half of it. I feel like we're crouched. I feel like... Do I... Do we gotta be crouched. We're too short. How do we even crouch? Control. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argenta unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead... I do, um... engineer would have been mm. foolish. Petrov had to finish what Check my buttons here. Mm, assist. Does E do anything? Because I keep hitting E instead of F. E is ability to. Oh, well, I'll just leave it that started, and that's what the made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Katerina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots just started killing everyone in sight. Right now, I'm in. Hey, who's there? They found me. 
Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. A human! You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Just turn the handle and open the door! Forewarned is forearmed. Enemies can perform attacks that knock you down. The enemy is charging. Charles will indicate the moment to dodge. When you see the red highlight, press the shift. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer oh, resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Yeah, the camera, there's, there's, let me see if I can actually turn it down. I saw, I thought I saw an option for camera shake. Um, turn off motion blur. Don't need DLSS. What is this? I don't know what that is. Uh, gameplay, camera shake strength. Let's turn that shit down to like zero. I can't go to zero. We can go to point two. That should help because there's there is some excessive ass camera shake. Yeah, already it feels better. Even more than more hammer camera shake. It was it was bad. Like dude, there was there was a solid like solid minute or so at the start there. I was thinking that I wouldn't be able to keep playing this game with the camera shake. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. Just the... I don't, I don't care. Just the order. How do I... Okay, what... Escape? Pulls me there. Uh. Chat. What do I? What? What? Do I, it's. He was conspiring Damn, with several others. I was stuck several there for like a minute. So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. I was trying to click back. Why I wasn't you backing. That thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording. Let me through. 
And don't call me Torrent, Murabiova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, but we aren't allowed to let you through, comrade. Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always an in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. I know you let me through right this I'm just getting started! Somebody else will be calling you here. Watch here. What you say? <clears throat> Look at that. He just drop kicked him. Holy oh, shit. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Oh, why are these... Jesus! I don't get why everything is so strong. God damn, dude! I'm gonna die before I even get out of like the tutorial here. Like, dude, why are these robots taking? This is unnormal. Are we really about to turn this bitch down to easy? Cause I feel like we are. Like, that's the second heal. I dude, the, the robots are just beating the the bejesus out of me. Well, I mean, I got, what, one, one shotgun shell left, so I don't really want to use that. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. I do think the the uh, hold F to vacuum loot could be a little. It's it's I don't know. It's a good idea, but it's a little weirdly executed. Cause like so, if you're holding F, you know, if you're holding F, usually you're putting your pointer finger on F. But then I can't hit D to like strafe over. So the best bet is to either hit F and then hit A, hit A to strafe over. I guess I could just not loot everything I see, but we all know that's not going to happen. I was thinking about rebinding the key, but... Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Put it on a mouse button? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold up, that's an excellent idea. Trolls, beans, binds, binds, binds. Where's it at? Interact F. Uh, mouse four. It sucks that I can't have multiple keybinds. Yeah, that makes that so much better. So much better. Damn it, why is everything locked here? That's why, Emergency unless something is amazing, I'm not going to be playing began through attacking it. Humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I going to do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. I think it'll be... I, I think that just putting it on... Mouse buttons are, are underused, honestly. Something's wrong. Oh, shit! You 
I'm at the Robussy. Now I'm at meet the Ro Dicky. It's your mom's favorite toy. Every time you think she's vacuuming, it's not what's happening. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> There's a lot of dialogue. You got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! What the fuck? Larissa, Laser face? Every Holy how shit. is the every single one of these robots is like the Terminator, bro. Larissa crawled into go. It's hard to say. <laughs> what is the Charles? A large number of branching ducts. Fine, I can deal with it later. Charles. I want to see if I can bind it to this button real fast. I don't think I can, but I'll check something. Charles. Okay, I can't. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You, you literally just picked a lock. Method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. Did I do it? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> There's a lot of so oh, far. Boy. I don't know. I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Oh god damn it. What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stud! I can't get enough of jocks. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No need to fight back, sugar. Oh, you're gonna love this. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open to suggestions! Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? 
so weird, dude. This is so. Who did this writing, man? But choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I'm here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. <laughs> and believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword? Thrust it deep into my socket so I can make it sturdier and sharper. Nora can upgrade weapons and equipment, as well as manufacture new items from blueprints. To do this, Provide the repair vendor with the resources you will undoubtedly find as you rummage through the entire area. You can fill me with whatever you want, big guy. Insert your axe. I'll give you the time of your life. You're sick, you know that. Deeper? Again? Oh, yes, honey, more! More! Bro, what is this game? What the fuck? What the actual fuck is this game? Round attack. Uh, adds a special attack. I think it wants me to do round attack. But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it? Big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon. Bro, this is a. Uh, still, still figuring out which button I like more. Uh, but this, this game is a bit. It's a bit extra, to be honest. And to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Here we go. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for you. Mayo, for spoken an apology. Last <laughs> full abandon. That's it. Oh, go. I gotta get a screenshot of this. Oh man, hang on a second. This is this is top tier top tier Twitter material. Oh my god. Oh, all right. Let's uh, pop you open. Arsenal upgrades. So, my shoddy and that. Can I? I need a recipe for the electro. I can make the heels. Rounds, cartridge guns, upgrade. Thirteen. That'll increase my damage. Okay. Locks a cartridge slot. Um. Okay. Oh, I don't have the resource for it.
Get your heals after killing. Drop you knocked down. Creates a damaging wave, and then damage when swinging and increase. Uh, the final perk is increased charge damage. Uh, cannot be knocked down. Less damage while doing it. Increase the energy bonus. And then spinning results in two hits. Got it. I feel like increasing our axe is a pretty straightforward. Shit, I just noticed I have like no. Oh, I used my big heal. Oh well. Damn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Can I go down in the hall? No, that just looks like actual hell. Fly room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> Dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. Yeah, I mean, I can put on, uh... I'm sitting right at 60, which is what I, I wanted. I just put it on to check. We're only at about 50% GPU utilization. So it locked at 60 FPS, so we're looking good. It said to hold the going guns blazing. This was one of those times. What the fuck? It's not doing it.
It said, it said, uh... Oh, yeah, the game's running fine. I don't know why you're... Is it, is it looking framey or something? It's playing great for me, and OBS isn't showing frame drops. Oh, yeah, it said, it said use the button to pick it up, and then press the button to throw it. How do I, how do I toss it? I figured the attack button would attack. Oh, oh. That's what I want it. See, attack doesn't do anything. All I can do is pick it up and drop it. Let me go back to the default controls in case it it probably probably messed something up. Let me put this back to F and see if that fixes it. Nope, still is the same thing. Where it just picks it up and drops it. Uh, so far I am lukewarm. Q and E do nothing, W, A, S, D do nothing, R does nothing, 1, 2, 3 does nothing. Pick up an item, hold and then release 5. To throw it, hold and then release 5. Okay, so hold, release. Hold, release. It's not throwing. So let me restart the game. So there's there's a there's a, a repair, or there's a uh, over here we have Maddie's review. Over here we have ACG's review, and right now my needle is going towards the uh, towards Maddie's side with this being kind of janky. Throw wouldn't work. Then the game didn't even want to patch itself. Like, damn. Once you telekinetically lift an object, hold down R1 or RB and release the button again to throw it. It won't go especially far to throw. Well, we will see. Hold, release. Hold and release doesn't work. Double click doesn't work. Uh, left click and right click don't work. Middle mouse button doesn't work. Um, you know what? I really did not want to do this because it's a first person game and... Oh wow, I'm using a controller and it's still not working. I'm there. Oh wait, there we go. That was working. Yeah, I think I figured it out. I think it is press. There we go. 
Yeah, it's not very clear. To pick up an item, hold and throw, release. So, so you tap the button to pick it up, and then you hold the button. And then you can throw it. We probably could have explained that. I mean, I don't know why they just said they were like, press and hold the button and release to pick up the object. Press and hold the button to then throw the object. Like, what? Say so tap the button to pick it up, then hold the button and release it to throw. No, I don't think the patch fixed it. I think it was just... It just wasn't that the instructions were not very... Aha! Very intuitive. You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. We won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping them. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Repeat. Attention employees who have recently been in contact with warm-blooded experimental samples. Refer to the medical center for an urgent checkup. Wah! Oh god, still kick me. Difficulty, Jesus. Can you block with their weapon? Uh, I don't think so. We have the attack, we have the, the special, and we have the normal attack. I'm loving the feel of the game. Feels it like feels home. like home. Bioshock slash Wolfenstein. Yeah. But not really. Such a weird but cool feeling. I don't know. To be honest, I'm not I'm not too big on the melee stuff. The melee combat kinda reminds me of Dying Light a bit, which y'all know how that playthrough worked out. Um Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah. Even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was going to stand here until it turns off on its own. <laughs> Passive security is really function by putting magnetic fluxes in the correct order. Plus, 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 plus. Okay. What? Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. So let's start from... Okay, that's why it's not making sense. We gotta start from the end. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Yeah, so far, there's, there's a lot of, like... Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Ignoring the cryptic instruction for throwing the items, are there other problems with the game? Uh, not yet, but... There's a lot of, like, weird stuff. Like, ride the elevator. Okay, we're in the elevator. Ride the elevator. 
Got it. Like there's, it, it feels. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. The dialogue is is really bad. Um, like, un unironically, that joke about like maybe we for owe for spoken on an apology. Yeah, this. If you recall, it's bad. the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Ease. Shock enemies. Beat my little Healy. When do I, when can I use V? It's honestly like really disorienting. And I think I'm caught in a lamp or something. I'm not saying I don't like it yet. I am saying that it seems like they skipped a lot. Like, so there's there's a lot of things that I feel like should have been caught in, in QA. Like Perfect example, the, uh, where did that elevator go? Like, we came up in the elevator and we're just, we're standing in the elevator figuring out what to do. Like, why, there should just be a button prompt that says, like, you know, press this. Like, just a little, just a little, a little, a little prompt, like, you know, one of, uh, like, I go over here and it says five. Why, why wasn't there that in the elevator? Uh, you know, just something that's, oh yeah, press this button to start the elevator. Because the last elevator we were in, we just kind of stood in it. And it started moving and that was was weird because like we walked in it then we walked out then we walked in it And then it was finally like huh There was I didn't see one we can Stop it damn Well, if there was a prompt, that ship was too damn small. It should have been bigger. I am a I am a firm believer of of uh, keep the user informed. It's it's always better to have more tutorials than you need, more instruction than needed, and let people disable the instruction if you want. Think of it like a condom, okay? You'd rather have it on you and not need it than need one and not have it. Okay. Same concept. The game is made to be played in Russian with subtitles, so don't be surprised if the audio is bad in English. That was a dev comment. I mean, the thing is, it's not, it's not like... I'm not, I don't think the voice acting's terrible. Polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. My, my thing with the dialogue is the writing itself. Get off my grill. You know, the the writing, not the dialogue. The I will say the voice actor sounds very western for someone who's supposed to be Russian, which is honestly surprising because I think back to uh, you know, um God, what is it called? What's it? Uh Metro. You know, Metro does such a great job of having a dude that speaks English but sounds Russian that you don't even, you know, you don't even notice it. There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? This is a new one. A combination lock. Uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Someone's gotta move. Anything. Yeah, it's a very, very uh, generic... What was that? Action voice. Master. 
Access granted. Shock. Neuropolymer. Shock electrifies enemies? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Frostbite. Fires 12 for Cryo Jack and Freeze. 66, that sounds useful. Mass Telekinesis. Set on fire, electrified or frozen. That's for organic. The little movies are, are very, uh, very like fallout, but not, what is this? So I, I shoot my, my goop on him. And then I trace that over to a, ah, huh. sure, let's install it. Oh, so V, I get, I get shocked by default and then I get to have two more. Cool. Well, now we have polymer jet and then we'll pick up mass telekinesis later. Enhance the effects of freezing fire and electricity. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons mm -hmm. or... Absolutely need to increase the damage on this thing. No, we're playing on normal, and it's beating the shit out of us so far. Like, it's honestly kind of crazy how... Authorization. how difficult Major uh, it's been so far. But I don't really feel like I have enough... Actually, I'm finally starting to get some shotgun ammo. Maybe I play with it for a hot minute here. Schematic. They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me. He's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope. Won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic? The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station master has it. He didn't make it. Was it as fast as me? He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel? He died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The station master. Find him. Find him. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. There it is. We just need to make it to the cable cards facility. Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. 
But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. Um. No, that's right. I never found the thing. I was supposed to find... No, I need... Hang on. What? So I found the station. Oh, he probably has the... Stupid turnstile. They won't go without a schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me. He's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Do Unfortunately, that dialogue again. he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. No, nope. won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory. Hey, why is it just why is it looping that whole fuck. dialogue? A talking corpse. Yeah, I, I... Oh, is that it? Do, 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 do. This works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats. We are ready to depart. Ooh, Sorry, we have a hoodie. No ticket. Nine, cool. Eight, seven, six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. So far, the game is, I'm also in the mixed camp. So far, you spend uh, like the first hour of the game on a rail. Uh, a lot of stuff that feels like it didn't get through QA. I knew it was gonna be rough. The dialogue is, is terrible, so. Shit, again, careful. There's a gap up ahead. I see it. Like honestly, I think it's it's gonna depend how uh We need to find a way to move forward. Whether the combat really frankly, starts. I'm having, having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm Ooh. quite glad to hear that. Man, this is some this is some peak. Peak dialogue here. Next, he's gonna tell me how he smokes his cigarettes unfiltered and hates vegans. Survive without him. Oh God. Charles, that was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed, it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals and incredible speed. Mm. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. What, are we being attacked? Oh, we are. Oh. Uh, 
sir. Jesus, dude, that went that was all my shoddy. Yeah, the, the difficulty in this game is, is very unforgiving. about that. Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Burav roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, taking God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. Ooh. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and a month, you'll have a complete subway system or any sort of tunnel. Subways, hell! It's the moon they were going to use them for, terraforming. So they're top secret and their armor is tougher than a tank's. PTA plates unmarked. A cutting edge science. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Hey, this is my stop. What a nice trip. <laughs> Dude, this is... Ugh. I don't know who wrote it. How do I open this door? Oh, a laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. Insert a tool into its ass. Okay. Honey, you're back. What took you so long? I was so lonely. Uh-huh. Like, I need to go through a laser wall. Preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Ugh, just give me laser protection. Oh, 
So brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever. I see. Do you want me to punch you or tear you apart? You'd really kill me over a stupid glove, sugar? How would you survive in this cruel, violent world without me? Easily. It's not like you're actually helping me or anything. But I can't make things for you out of thin air, sugar. I need polymer and other components to work. Put your polymer inside me so I can pleasure you. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. I'm, I'm going to be honest, y'all. Um... From the from the guide they sent me, this is 30 hours with about 15 hours. Or no, they said 20 hours and 15 hours of side quests. I don't think I can do this dialogue for 35 hours. No, 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 don't. Miss, Miss Moxie is not this bad. Miss Moxie is not... Alright, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes! Yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Money, please! some lady at the door. There was some lady at the door. Hang on a second. There might be somebody outside. No idea who that is. Yeah, yeah. I mean I'm 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 all for a good sexual innuendo here and there. Um But there is absolutely a limit. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. Oh, crap! That hurt! That thing... And I still need to... Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. What's up with all the honey? I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor! are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelame. Victor, save yourself! Chelame. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Warning. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. Oh, Jesus. They're all on top of it. Nope, we're dead, I think. around it's almost like there is property and he locked the goddamn door Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called a candle 
It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. No, this is not the type. I would I would get bored of playing this in a drunk crew. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous Peck 4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree Peck 4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Um, I'll go. I'll. I'll. We'll, we'll push through to like a good stopping point, but I don't know if I'm gonna play this again because right now I would much rather be fighting things in Wild Hearts. have to carry it like this the candle is a complex unstable piece of equipment it cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items there is a high probability of mutual destructuralization like an explosion not necessarily but the candle would be disabled so no, I'll have to no. carry it like this got it the candle is quite durable you can drop it or even throw it intentionally nothing will happen to it mm -hmm. no performance issues I'll give it that. I mean, but the thing is, like, honestly, I don't, I don't have performance issues. Like, I mean, God, ever the, the whole internet was talking about how Wild Hearts has the worst performance ever, and it runs fine for me. So my, my biggest thing here is just the whole uh I don't I don't really I really really don't like first person melee. I didn't like it in Dead Island, I'm not really liking it here. Like everyone everyone said this was gonna be Bioshock. And I guess this is my own fault, but I went into this expecting lots of cool powers and lots of guns. Those loaders are going and nuts. instead, every time I've tried using my shotgun, be careful. I, uh, loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases, metallic or otherwise. Like my shotgun, I, I run out of ammo before I can actually beat anything with it. The telekinesis is uh, ah, yes, nothing like a soft, soft, jaunty toss.
Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? You know what, though? This is honestly a blessing, because since this game is kind of just mediocre city, uh, it means I can play more Wild Hearts, and then when Wolong comes out, we can play that. And I don't need to really worry about this game. We can just kind of cross it. Ow, fuck it. We can cross it off our list and just, you know, do things that we are more interested in. It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae. There was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. Uh, I'm sure the demo we're about to get for work play is exactly the same as the. Who's the man? I'm sure it's the same as what I played. Song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed, it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non linear algorithm based on the principles of non commutative quantum mathematics. Charles, yes, who are you just talking to? Forgive me, I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future, they don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. Uh, find a way to open the gates. Open the gate for me. This is the lunar, a kind of lock. It'll open once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them. You eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. You gotta put your, gotta put your dick in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's gonna open up. Here. So this game loves its locks. <laughs> Excuse me. Not that batshit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, Comrade Major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. There we go again. Fun. If I can get a good weapon out of her, I guess it'll be worth it. Oh, you're gonna get something out of her. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you come Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. 
I was a bad girl who strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't. Do you like it, Sugar? I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself, hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. The dialogue cut off. She was saying, it's been so long since you last entered me. Cool. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. How I've got one. Do I do I put it in the other ones? I've got another one. There we go. Uh, done. I think it worked. This place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank, the heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Access granted. Mm, early thoughts in the game are not all that, uh, not all that good, not all that good. Yeah. Time for this. Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seed bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised. I don't know if we're going to move on to Wild Hearts tonight, but... Like I said, I don't think we're going to play this one again. Over here, you little fucker!
Come on, open the elevator. What the fuck shit? This game makes me want to take a nap. I mean, it's just kind of lackluster. Like, I don't think it's it's not it it, it runs. It's not like it's uh you know. I'm just I'm, I'm sitting here just like this thing shoots really slow, and I'm smacking stuff with an axe a bunch, and using a shitty shotgun, and it's just I don't know. You know that like. That meme. This is like, I want Bioshock. We have Bioshock at home. Yeah, just, just, just worse Bioshock. The music's kind of good. Yeah, the music was, uh, Mick Gordon. So it makes sense that the music's good. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. According to biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Ah, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out.
Oh, another lock. Okay. Yeah, honestly, the, the weakest part of the game, by far, is the, uh, the writing. The writing is just... I mean, even then, even if we ignore the writing, like, honestly, I, I don't know. It's... It just feels like uninspired Bioshock. We got, you know, the dialogue is kind of just eh. The powers could be cool, but they got long ass cooldowns. Oh, long, long cooldowns on the. Oh, did I have to take the thing from, dude? Die at. I need to get. I need this thing. Yeah, there's twin waifus just look that's just luring us in. Robo, robo boobies. Oh, come on, back over here. I don't know, I guess it dropped it. Even if I craft bullets and stop using the axe, I still have electro gun, which is ass, and then shotgun, which is just okay. I don't know, man. I, just, I, I think back to when I played Bioshock and I was putting fucking crossbow traps on walls and, and had guns that would speed up to rapid fire and all sorts of cool shit. The energy from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate, but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system. The life support system has four primary functions. Maintaining optimal temperature, eliminating insects. In other words, four columns, four canisters. Where do we go? Where do we find our canisters? Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No. Bro, if he says crispy critter one more the time. Shop or thermarium require high temperatures, but the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Am I gonna become a crispy critter? Please, please stop saying that.
First attempt at Amatseru and Wild Hearts. Uh, it's all all on stream, man. Just look through the streams. Man, this environment is fucking bland. I feel like we've been in this shitty pseudo hospital research area for a while now, and I'm over it. How do I get lower? How do I get down? We have powers. We have we have I can jizz on stuff and I can electrocute it. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system, or excessive polymer fertilizer production. I've been this way. supposed to do I have no data I've never been here before <sighs> okay I'll deal with it I've seen that stuff before it's cryogenic right indeed it is that is a Fahrenheit a candle filled with cryopolymer it's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces I'll try getting them into the boilers Get into the pipe. Ugh. There what is no run now? button. Lug this shit to the boiler myself. Too hot to touch. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. That looks like it should go in there, but it's, uh, how do I open you? Well, that's disappointing. Um, no, the first pipe is done, I think. So this goes over here. Why are they all capped? What the shit, man? I found two different areas, and they're... Another one. They're all they're all capped. You need to move the ball you put in. Oh. Oh god, that's 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 tedious. I need to hold the button. Hold the button. Come on. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? Why is he such a smart ass to his, his Like 
Like he's 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 worse than Frey and Cuff. It's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree. <sighs> Come on, please move. tree but with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Yeah, dude, it's, it's it's a little on the nose, you know, when your when your own character is pointing out how fucking tedious the puzzle is. Uh, pretty good chance that it's fucking tedious. Yeah, y'all, I, I think we're done. I think we're done. This, this isn't fun. This is the, this is the most tedious puzzle I have possibly ever done. Drag the ball through the tubes. Um, I feel like I could go take a nap now. That'd be good. Maybe I'll go lay down for a little bit. I don't, I don't know. This this ain't it for me. Um, this is on Game Pass, so you know if you want to check it out yourself, see if maybe you vibe with it. Uh, I would suggest doing that before paying a bunch of money. But uh, yeah, this 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 ain't it, fam. <laughs> 